At this point, we would like to have the reading of the eulogy, and I will call Mrs. Dr. Modoni Rabuku to read for us the eulogy before we proceed to the tributes. So, Mrs. Dr. Modoni Rabuku, kindly, if you may approach and read for us the eulogy. Welcome. Your Excellency, my name is Mrs. Mudoni Rabuku, and it's an honor to be able to read the eulogy for our father, the late General Francis Omondi Ogola. Late General Francis Omondi Ogola was born on 12 February 1962 in Siaya County. He was enlisted into the Kenya Defense Forces as an officer cadet on the 2nd of May 1984 and commissioned as a second lieutenant on 3rd May 1985, upon which he was posted to Moi Air Base, where he later trained as a pilot. During his career in the Kenya Defense Forces, General Ogola held several command, staff, and instructional appointments. In command, he was a commanding officer, Laikipia Air Base, tactical flight wing in 2007, and also base commander Laikipia Air Base from 2008 to 2012. Upon promotion to Brigadier on 10th April 2012, he was appointed the Deputy Air Force Commander and later on promoted to Major General on the 13th July 2018 and appointed Commander at Kenya Air Force. On 23rd July 2021, he was also promoted to the rank of Lieutenant General and appointed the Vice Chief of, Defense, of the Defense Forces, a position he held till 28th April 2023 when he was promoted to the rank of general and appointed chief of the defense forces. Due to his dedication to service, the late General Francis Omondi Ogola was awarded several medals among them, Moran of the Golden Heart MGH, Elder of the Banning Spear, Head of State Commendation, among others. General Francis Omondi Ogola leaves behind a widow, Mrs. Eileen Kadambi Ogola, and two children, Lona Achieng Omondi, and Joel Rabuku Omondi Ogola. He also leaves behind one daughter-in-law, Mudoni Jengamora, and a grandson by the name of Tajib Bagara. Thank you. Ali, let's appreciate her with a clap, Tafadali. Thank you, thank you. Next, we'll move to the tributes, and at this point, I would like to invite Professor Fred Were who will speak on behalf of the friends